you know what? I've earned seven and a half grands on YouTube for the first year being monetized. Let me tell you how, and you can do this too, right? And my furry friends are going to help me with this. Let's go. So guys, welcome to the analytics and here's the lifetime analytics. And as you can see, I've earned my first three, almost four dollars, April 18th, 2021. And here is April 19th, so it's almost a full year, a bit more. And if we take the full year right here, you can see that I've earned seven and a half thousand dollars with pretty huge spikes like one hundred and twenty two dollars in one day. And I'm going to show you how I did it, what steps did I take and also what videos brought me the most cash from the Google AdSense. So guys, as you can see throughout the year, I had two point six million views and a ton of watch time, one hundred and twenty five almost thousand hours of watch time it's a lot and the average view duration on my channel is around three minutes per video and the average length of the video is 10 minutes so i've posted more than a hundred videos throughout this year and in total on my channel i have more than 200 videos so as you can see in the beginning of my monetization i was making around five dollars a day which is not a lot but it's okay and then we see a bit bigger numbers like around ten dollars and after this we see a huge growth for like a full month and this is related to iphone 13 pro max i bought it at the first day at the launch day and i made a ton of videos related to this smartphone a ton of comparisons with other smartphones in terms of cameras of course because it's a tech channel about photography and videography and also i did a ton of comparisons with proper cameras like Sony a7S III, as you can see here, the most viewed one, and almost the same amount of views with Nikon D780, and actually the ZV-1, and surprisingly the drone video, the review of DJI Mini SE, and they are all pretty long videos, more than 8 minutes each. Of course, after the hype, I have a bit less uh, views and less revenue, as you can see here, but if we look right here, we have around 10 to $12 right there, and then we have around 20 to 15, 15, 20 dollars. So it's almost two times more than before this huge spike about the iPhone 13 Pro Max. So now let's dive a little bit deeper into the analytics and let's see how much money I gained for each of those videos. So here we have the first and the winning video, A7S III versus iPhone 13 Pro Max and almost $900 per one video. And then $800, $600, almost $600 and then less than $300 but there is a lot of videos related to iPhone as you can see and DJI Mini SE is also doing pretty good right here. In this chart you can also see the numbers, the views, the watch time and the click-through rate which is also very important and as you can see I have a pretty big number for click-through rate in this video. DJI Mini SE that is why it has so many views, because the thumbnail and the video itself is pretty engaging and people are clicking on it and 12.8% of CDR is a huge number, it's one of the best on my channel. I also focus a lot on videos that are made for YouTube search and as you can see, my YouTube search brings me more than 45% of all traffic on the channel and the suggested videos are only 3.5%. So you can imagine how many people are finding my videos in YouTube search. And if we take a look at vidIQ rating, here are the requests that I'm number one in YouTube search. And that is very important because a lot of people are seeing my video on the first place when they type in those kind of phrases. And I highly recommend you doing some kind of YouTube search related content so they are evergreen videos. If we take a look at my video about DJI Mini SE right here, you can see that the graph is simply going upwards and upwards and upwards. And if we take a look at a different video that was kind of hyped about the DJI uh, Air 3S and Medic 3 Pro, as you can see, was skyrocketing from the beginning, but then it kind of died. That is why the hypey videos are great to gain attention and to get traction on YouTube, but also search-based content is very important, so keep that in mind, guys. So if we go to Revenue tab, you can see right here that the RPM rating is around $3, which is pretty good, and the playback-based CPM rating is around $9, which is pretty a lot. In different topics on YouTube, 
this mileage may vary because some topics are more kind of paid and some topics are less. For instance, the content for kids is getting not a lot of click-based CPM rating and you can earn not that much, but they kind of prefer to overcome with the views and that is why they're getting a lot of cash, probably. I'm not making the kids content anyway. And also something like financial content or something like, uh, you know, advocatory advocates, they are making pretty good money on YouTube in this term. So my channel is doing pretty good in my opinion. And as you can see, we have a ton of views from the United States and the views from the States are paid more because I have a second channel. I am Russian. By the way, my name is Oleg Nikitin. I'm Russian. I'm based in Moscow and I have a second YouTube channel with exactly the same content and I get five times less money in terms of Google AdSense, in terms of uh, YouTube revenue. And one view from America will cost around five cents, for instance, and in Russia only one. That's why I'm making a ton more on my English channel. The views from Germany and United Kingdom are also pretty, uh, you know, payable, <laughs> if I can say so. So I get a lot of cash from those views from foreign countries with wealthy economy. So to reach this huge peak, I had to work a lot. So let's have a look at the content that I made when I got the iPhone 13 Pro Max. So as you can see, I received the phone at 25th of September. And after this, I did all of those videos. Let me show you another one to this page all of those videos till 11th of November. So I had like 15 or 18 videos about this topic, very in depth, really well made. And that is why they're getting more and more traction. They're shown to more people. I have more impressions of it. I had a ton of comments, a lot of views for one day. So if we look at the analytics into the overview, I had like 29,000, 40,000 views. Um, 39,000 views per day, which is a ton. And now I'm getting around six, uh, maybe five, seven thousand views per day. And those views are coming from search based content most of the time. If we have a look at what videos are being watched right now, you can see that for the last 84 hours, the video about Mini SE, which is um, almost half a year ago or even more, having 2,000 views, so basically 1,000 views a day. I've checked the analytics, it's all about the search, not about the recommendations tab. As you can see as well with my phones and with cinematic mode and all that stuff, I'm getting a ton of traction. For instance, this video, the best microphone for iPhone, which is almost a year old, it's also getting around 150 views a day, which is nice and it's based on search. So pay attention to search guys. And one more very important factor, if we go into, for instance, uh, this video and let's have a look at detail and we'll go to the tab with tags. Fill out this panel with tags, all of the 500 symbols right there. And please, guys, look for the tags first. So think about it, how people are searching those types of content. Sony ZV-1 versus iPhone, Sony ZV-1 versus iPhone 13 Pro Max and all that stuff. So when people do search it, if you have a nice thumbnail and a pretty good name right here, so it's a pretty straightforward and people are clicking on it and getting more and more views to your channel. And one more interesting factor is the subscription status. And I'm really disappointed about it, guys, because look at this 2.5 million views from people that are not subscribed and only almost 60,000 views from people that are subscribed. And that makes me sad, to be honest. So if you do like the content on my channel, guys, please smash the like and subscribe buttons as I send my videos. And of course, hit the notifications bell. So guys, what are my tips for getting better in terms of earning money on YouTube or with the help of YouTube, basically? First of all, use royalty free music. Please, guys, it's so important because if you do use some popular music that has the rights to it, you won't have any money from this video. Even if you have 99 tracks in your video that are royalty free and even one track with the rights, you won't be able to monetize your video. The second important factor is placing your mid-roll ads. As you can see right here, we have a video that is 
um, 11 and a half minutes long and I have one, two, three, four ads right here. It's a bit too much. Now I prefer to put an ad break every five minutes so it's not as intense and the viewers are getting more traction to the video and have more watch time which is important on YouTube but guys keep this in mind you have to place it by yourself if you want the best results but also you can leave it as it is and YouTube will make it automatically. There are several other ways of income in YouTube and you can use basically all of them. So I use three main ways. First of all is sponsorship. When a company reaches out to me and wants to make a sponsorship basically about a product, a program or anything else and they pay me for it and I say about it to you guys so you know it's a paid uh, kind of advertisement. Then there is an affiliate marketing but it's a little tough on this site so I live in Russia as I said before and I can only have the affiliate uh, marketing within my country because you know of the situation. We have no opportunity to get money from PayPal, Amazon or something else so from abroad unfortunately so uh, I only earn in terms of my local uh, affiliate marketing links so if people in Moscow are buying through my links in the shops that I'm working with with an affiliate marketing uh, I get a little payment and it's not a ton to be honest and as a tech youtuber from time to time I do get some lights lenses um, I don't know monitors for review and then I can leave them use them or resell them and that's another way of income it's not huge but it's a little bonus to to me and to my income so in total those three incomes brought me another 3.7 thousand dollars and don't forget that you can have your merch your digital products like courses and there is so many ways to earn on YouTube apart from what I've told you. One more crucial thing is to have videos more than eight minutes long. Of course, if they were fit, so you don't have to make a two minutes video and then for six minutes uh, doing nothing in your video, that's not working. You have to make an eight minute video, which is very intense and very nicely made. And that is why you have more opportunities for placing mid-roll ads, thus getting more cash from YouTube. By the way, all the money you see right here in the YouTube analytics are coming to you directly. And then you pay taxes by yourself. So I pay taxes only in Russia because there is a special agreement between two governments. So I'm not paying double taxes. And that is nice that you do know how much money you get. So as I said, in total, I've earned around $12,000 a year, a little bit less from YouTube and YouTube related stuff. So can you live off of it during the first year being monetized on YouTube? Probably you can if you live in a country with pretty cheap flats and apartments and not that expensive food. But I live in Moscow, we rent a flat, which is a pretty big one because I do need to have a YouTube studio as you can see right here. And basically we pay for the rent of our flat in Moscow a thousand dollars every month. So it's just, you know, covering my rentals and that's it. So if I lived somewhere else, like in the suburbs or probably in the countryside and I had my own flat, my own apartment or house, probably I could live off of it, but I have a wife, a daughter, of course, a little kitten that you saw in the beginning of this video. And it would be like the bare minimum that we can live, uh, you know, with the whole family for $1,000. But guys, it's a nice addition because also I work as a videographer and during some tough times, the YouTube really helps me out with my financials. But an interesting fact, guys, if I had the same amount of work, uh, the same amount of time and effort put into my client work that I put into my videos on YouTube, I would get paid like five or ten times more from my clients. But it's not the way everything works, unfortunately. So guys, if you do have any questions, please feel free to ask them down in the comment section below. I'm trying to be as transparent as possible because I do respect you guys and I want you to know everything about my journey and I hope you did enjoy this little topic about monetization and getting paid from YouTube and I hope that you are going to get nice amounts of cash from YouTube and all the related stuff. My name is Alek Nikitin from Russia with Love, no limits on channel and I see you guys in the next video. Take care, bye.